All you need to know about Sung Jin Wu from Soul Leveling from Mr. Anime Stats. That's right, we farmed the shit out of it in Eminence and Shadow videos. He's got the Soul Leveling videos out. Let's go. And, and remember, guys, sometimes the, the description, it might be a little cap, but at the end of the day, it's all for good fun. Okay. Hunter rank. Sung Jin Wu is a 20, 24. Bro, 24? I don't know why I just expected him to be like 18 or 19. Okay, he's 24 year old E rank hunter from South Korea. <laughs> Financial struggle. That's right. My bro is broke. He looks 18. It's the Korean skincare routine. The the 17 step Korean skincare routine that keeps you guys from wondering how old am I? Financial struggle. Jin Mu had to give up his dream of studying just uh, like others his age because of financial difficulties. His dream of studying. <laughs> okay. No. In Korea, you're like expected to obviously... And that's in every, every culture. It's like you go to... You, you study hard. You go to fucking good university, college. You get a good job. But like a dream of studying is like... No one actually wants to do that shit. We're just kind of forced to do it. <laughs> Ill mother. His mother is afflicted with the incurable illness known as eternal slumber. One in 10,000 people. And... Exposure to a great amount of mana. Where's the dad? The dad is usually super powerful in these shows. Every time we talk about this, I'm going to go to this talking point because I'm calling it. Since like episode three, I'm going to stick by this. I think that that's super OP. I think that that's the most common trope in shonen animes or at least shonen-esque animes like this. And if the dad was super powerful and his mana was just, just oozing out that he had to fucking leave and she's the one that got affected, I think it makes total sense. Maybe I'm fucking just dumb. Noble cause. He works as a hunter to pay his mother's medical bills, which amounts to millions of won. And this is the funny thing. There is no cure for the eternal slumber. Keep in mind, there is no cure. So what the fuck are we paying for at the hospital each month? They just hooked her onto fucking this life support. Is it even working? Why can't we just stay at home? Some people are saying, nah, 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 bro. She has to be at the hospital. She can't just be at home like that, bro. But to me, it just seems like she's just sleeping on a goddamn fucking bed. And we're basically paying extra rent. That's what it just seems like the hospitals are fucking scamming us, dude. All right. No talents. With no other talents, being a hunter is the only viable option for Jinwoo to make money. You would think that like... I don't know. Think about this. He risked his fucking life just for that $80 of the shard you see right here. This little, this thing right over there, this is 80 fucking dollars. That's one dungeon. That's like one works. That's like one day's worth. $80? Bro, you could be working minimum wage job at a fucking McDonald's making more money than this. Dude, like You're telling me that Sung Jin Mu got accepted for being a hunter because he had no talents but couldn't get a fucking minimum wage job i feel like there's way better ways to make money for this guy who struggles to even barely get this fucking 80 dollars shard if he's lucky essence stone he provides money for his family by acquiring essence stones during dungeon raids let's get serious bro he ain't providing shit right now bro again is fucking lucky if you get this 80 dollar rock lost father oh Sung, uh, should I read this? Should I read this? I, I, I start to read this. Maybe, uh, may, maybe we'll, we'll skip ahead. May, maybe we'll skip ahead. Maybe, maybe we'll, I'm still not reading it. I, 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 fucking, I, I, I where, the, where, where's the fucking check, dude? I thought you said I could read, watch this shit, huh? I thought I could watch this shit. You motherfuckers are lazy. Soul provider. Sung Jin Mu is soul provider in his family and also pays for his sister's education. Yeah, she got to go to college. The weakest E-rank, despite being a hunter, he's just slightly stronger than an ordinary human. <laughs> slightly. So, like, what? The power level for a fucking like, regular civilian is, like, what? Power level 5? <laughs> 7? But he's, like, 10, which should actually be, like, 70 for, like, an E-rank. Ridiculed. Because of how weak he is, he's called the weakest hunter by other hunters. That's kind of fucked up. Imagine having that nickname, bro. You're like just called the weakest hunter. Everyone just knows you as the weakest hunter. That's fucked up. Unwanted job. Jinmu dislikes being a hunter due to danger associated with it and the ridicule he gets. I don't think we've ever kind of gone into how he feels about how other people judge him, right? Have we? 
at least from the episode one to three we've seen, there hasn't been a moment where he didn't like maybe the body language was there, but I never felt like there was like a dialogue of him saying like stop like uh making fun of me or stuff like that. The only time he got really mad was when he called out the hypocrisy of Mr. Kim on the left side saying, I have a family too. And then got and he just started crying and started to run away, right? Personality. Despite difficulties, Jin Wu stays a humble person and doesn't become a bitter person. I mean, look, look, look. I he's he's very wholesome actually. Jin Wu's actually a really nice guy, and he like is a very earnest and diligent person. Just overall great guy. But a part of me was like thinking, watching more solo leveling videos yesterday. I'm like, yo, what if there is like a really like a bitter evil hunter that forces a gate like a a gate break? Because, like, the civilians are kind of shitting on the hunters, saying, like, where the fuck are they when the portal's open in the middle of the traffic? But, like, imagine if Jin Moon went the, the wrong route, and he became all super edgy and dark, and he intensely just decided to let a gate break happen, and then just let all the people outside die. I mean, I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but stuff like that I think would be interesting. No money. Jin Moon can't afford to buy good weapons because they cost millions of won. Now, here's the thing. Can we get gear from the instance dungeons? And even if we can't, maybe we can get materials that we can sell or just we can just get currency. I don't know, like, like what? Like, the, are we going to get deposited like Korean one, like the currency there if we clear this instance dungeon? How does that work? We'll have to see next episode. But like, this could be a way for us to farm and get weapons or at least get something that lets us farm normal dungeons better to get more money, right? Burden of a party. He mostly participates in raids empty-handed. That's right. That's that's the craziest shit. Bro, he didn't even have this fucking dagger most of the times, apparently. Right? Because in the anime, we just see him with a dagger. Like, he fought barehanded before. Like, because he had no fucking weapon. That's why his shoes are also fucking like slippers, dude. Because he just... He straight up was just fighting barehanded. Nothing. And becomes a headache for party healers. Juhi exists only to heal Sung Jin Mu. Which is fucked because she's she's gonna get cucked by the only by the person that she serves to kind of like serve in the beginning. Too weak. He once got injured in an E-ranked dungeon. A feat deemed impossible. <laughs> Straight up have to call on a fucking B rank hunter, dude, into a fucking E-ranked dungeon. It shouldn't be possible. People just raw dog this. No protection. Nah, they just go in. They don't need a healer. They don't need support. It just go unga boonga DPS. You should clear it. But bro is the only one that gets injured. That's actually a fucking impressive uh, feat. <laughs> Healers know him. <laughs> because he's too weak. Healers know him. Because of this, Sung Jin was notorious among healers across South Korea. Is this real? Really? <laughs> so like... And like the healers are obviously like a small group of people too, right? But that's hilarious. They all know like the weakest hunter. <laughs> is that amazing or is that embarrassing? I don't know. Maybe a bit, a bit of both. Secretive. He keeps his hard he keeps his hardships private to avoid judgment or unwanted pity. He's yeah, just a good guy. He's never really complained about anything. It's just just too good. Easy going image. In front of others, Sung Jin Woo claims hunting is a hobby to stave off boredom. Hey, bro, you ain't Saitama. <laughs> Even though you're starting to do the One Punch Man training, you'll probably get as strong as him. Like, <laughs> nah, hunting is just a hobby. I'm just bored. <laughs> Bullshit, bro. Your work is, you're so, like, bro is fucking risking his life in an E-ranked dungeon where no one ever gets hurt out of a fucking hobby? For what, dude? Moral support. Jin Woo's presence of a raid brings joy to hunters who believe that. They're going to survive another day. Because if they're going into a raid, and if Jin Mu is there, it's going to be a fucking easy raid, right? He is only sent on low difficulty dungeon raids by the Hunters Association. That's right. And yeah, so like the, um, at the guild or the official association, they'll like, uh, delegate different gates and different jobs to people, right? You can't just like volunteer to go into like a different gate, right? I think there's some like politics and decision making behind the scenes for that. Apologetic. Sung Jin Mu has tendency to apologize frequently. And finally, always humble. And yeah, I'm not looking at the webtoon picture. We're going to forget about this when the anime gets adapted. It's all right. It's a little bit. It's out of context. Even after he gains powers and he becomes one of the strongest. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. 
I mean, this is not really spoilers. Basically, just saying, after he gets his power to become best, best, like the strongest hunter ever, he just becomes humble. And that's one of the coolest things about him, I think. Like, he's just super humble guy, super nice. Is he relatable that way? Maybe. Maybe you guys see yourself in him too. Maybe you too become some, can become Sung Jin Mu. But great video from Anime Stats. Please give him a like. Sub to his channel if you like this video. Hope he continues to deliver a more video. Actually, any stats, your enemy stats, if you're watching this, I'm not sure if you're watching this. You're probably not watching this, but one one little criticism. Like, I want to watch these videos, bro, but it's just pictures, you know? I like it when you have a little bit of, like, writing. It's, it's cool that I can, like, work off of, right? And, like, stuff like this, obviously, this is meant for, like, light novel or, like, the actual, like, webtoon readers, right? And not for anime only, but it is what it is.